Hey, it's Matt from Black Coal Woodworking. Welcome back. Today I'm trying a special project. No, it's not the fact that it's a bowl. That's not special. It's the type of wood. This is a koya. It's pickled pine. It's completely stable. It can be submerged in water for 40 years and still be okay. I guess you could say I've got the first dishwasher safe wooden bowl. So while I was definitely excited to try this, there are a few things I learned about this wood. Have you ever turned red oak? And have you noticed how red oak smells? Well, if you haven't, to me, it smells like the barn. Now, Akoya, it smells different. Pine smells amazing. This being pickled pine is less amazing. I can't even describe the smell. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not something I would put my food into after having smelled it, even though it's probably perfectly fine. This type of wood is ridiculously dry. It actually does not hold on to water, which is why it makes it so, I guess, stable. Apparently, you can even put water in a bowl not the end grain style of bowl, but a side grain, and the water will eventually go through, even as quickly as half an hour. So I'm not sure I'll be able to test that because I am putting a finish on mine, and wax does hold water for quite a while. Another thing I was surprised at was the fact that I got shavings, like half decent shavings. I was expecting a lot more dust because it is so dry, but it turned just like pine. What kinds of strange or exotic woods have you turned that had some unexpected properties? Put it down below in the comments. I'd love to read about some of these different kinds of wood, as I'm sure would some others. For now, on with the making. Until now, you've seen me shape the bowl with the half-inch spindle gouge. I'm going to mount this on my four-jaw chuck in a recess. I haven't done a lot of recesses lately, and after doing this one, I realize why. The, uh, the tenon seems to be a lot more user-friendly, let's say. You have a lot more options when you've got one, because you cannot add wood, but you can always take it away. So it turns out Koya takes stain really well, but this isn't actually stain. This is just walnut oil. My finish is pretty simple. I always start with walnut oil, and then uh, if I want a little extra shine, I'll rub some shellac on there, and then just to give it that final little bit of protection, beeswax, usually my wife's favorite candle. They work well. For the inside, I'm using a half inch bowl gouge to hollow it out. I usually start by addressing the rim, and then facing it off like this so I have a nice flat surface to work with. And then from there, dive in and hollow this guy out, usually from the center towards the outside. I find that peeling the, or the face grain is sure a whole lot easier than trying to attack any kind of end grain. Here I'm undercutting the rim a bit. I find that it's nicer to hold when I do that. Here's one last big cut for the inside, then a little scraping. It. 
To finalize the shape, especially the bottom, I switch to a round nose scraper. The interior finish in this bowl is going to be the same as the outside. Walnut oil, shellac, and beeswax. So I'm curious to see how this bowl holds up over time. I'm going to see if the smell eventually dissipates and uh, if it stays as stable as it's advertised to be. So I'll uh, see if I can post something in a while just to give you guys a follow-up. For now, uh, we'll get to some quick little beauty shots at the end. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and please uh, put some comments down below. I'd love to hear about some of those exotic woods or if you have any questions or comments. And I'll see you guys next time.